All right, I hope you enjoyed those. All right, I hope you enjoyed those uh, videos and some of the artwork there. You know, um, I think it's just real interesting, you know, like this concept of free speech and corporate speech. Like, do corporations deserve free speech? Like, people, because they are people. Do they deserve the same rights? And I think it's an interesting question to ask and think about. You know, like, think about when you're out being bombarded with advertisements, branding, you go to stores and there's music playing. I mean, you don't agree to this form of communication, you know. It's just pretty interesting how, like, when you kind of think about, like, what does street art do? What does graffiti do? Right? It really is like a remix. It really is like, you know, a remix of the canvas of the world, you know, in a sense. And, I mean, stuff like the Bubble Project, I think that's just a really fabulous way to, um, and there's a link to it so you can bubble yourself. Um, I just think it's a really interesting way to comment on ads, like, and give people empowerment, you know, which I think is what remixing really is. If we, if we think about it as essence, it's giving us, it's empowering us to make a statement using other people's shit. Uh, I think that's really important, um, to make a statement or to make art even. And as you know, all art should be political in a sense of not like political, like, voting or social justice necessarily but all art should say something it should have some something to say that's valuable it should have some commentary if not it's just entertainment anyways uh but you know ron english graffiti um you know uh bubble project and you know in sao paulo um brazil they have a clean city uh, clean city law which basically, you know, a few years ago they ruled that basically you cannot have advertisements in the city. All buses, all, uh, you know, all billboards, everything gone. And they replaced it with art, which I just think is just so cool. I think it's so fabulous and it's such an interesting thing. So all of those things, Ron English, graffiti, street art, uh, the, the clean city law, uh, bubble projects, all those challenge corporate speech corporate speech and in fact are free speech like actual true free speech you know i think that's important um so just a few more uh examples and we'll get out of here y'all probably familiar um with che guevara the image of che guevara which i'll show you in a second but uh i like to show like like just the crazy um various forms it's taken so this is the biggie che we got the uh, Planet of the Che, uh, Che Mouse, uh, Nike Che, just do it. All right, we have the Warhol Che, the Che Baca, the Klingon Che, the Family Guy Che, the Cheney, uh, the Obama Che. And this is the image, you, you know, so here's the real image. Um, on the left, you can see the original image. It's uh, photograph that's a very iconic photograph taken uh, in Cuba by Alberto Corda who is a photographer there and the image on the right is the stencil image that we're probably more familiar with that you see on t-shirts at Forever 21 or on posters uh, on the street fairs on campus and stuff like that. Uh, the stencil image was actually done by Jim Fitzpatrick. Uh, Jim Fitzpatrick is an Irishman and he did this I believe in the 70s and, um, you know, he basically wanted to spread the, not only the image of Che, but the image of Che and the ideas of Che, which were, you know, um, revolution, um, in many ways, like anti-imperialism, anti-colonialism, um, and, and how they ended up being, you know, anti-American, just interpreted as such. Um, because of what was going on between Cuba and the United States at the time. But he became a sort of a commodified uh, image of freedom and revolution against, against authority. Um, and this was largely because of what Jim Fitzpatrick did with this you know, image of Che that Corda took. And Corda, you know, he never did anything about it. Um, not, not necessarily only for copyright reasons, but... Uh, for the reasons of, you know, he actually liked how it spread the image of Che around the world. And, it, and you know, uh, uh, and he thought that was important. Here's an image of Corda looking at um, negatives. And 
uh, he only sued one time, um, and it was for this image, which was an advertisement for ugh, hot, fiery Smirnov. Uh, I think, you know, his thought there was that Che would not support his image being used to sell shitty vodka and or vodka at all or to sell anything. Um, and so he sued in that instance. But other than that, the appropriation has been fine.